Okay, welcome everybody, and thank you for attending today's customer webinar on Field Service Solutions Driver Coaching Module. My name is Rick Seisel. I'll be acting as moderator for today's presentation. Uh, we are going to go ahead and get started in just a second. First off the top, I would like to say we're very excited to have Stephen Herbert as our presenter today. Uh, Stephen works as a solution architect for the FSS product line, specializing in assisting clients who host their own FSS systems. Today, he will be demonstrating exactly how the driver coaching mod module works to improve driver safety through the use of driver scorecards, thresholds, alerts, and other features. Before I hand the stage over to Stephen, I just want to cover one quick housekeeping item. The microphones have been muted, so if any of you do have any questions at any time during the presentation, you are encouraged to use the WebEx chat tool. All of you should see the tiny chat icon located on your screen, and this will act as an instant messaging tool throughout the presentation. Uh, do please feel free to use the tool to enter any questions and make sure you address them to host. I'll then uh, relay them over to Stephen at the conclusion of the presentation for a brief Q&A session. All right, Stephen, so with that said, I think we're ready to get started here. It looks like we can see your screen. You can take it away whenever you're ready. Okay, thanks, Rick. So let's dive, dive in right away with what is driver coaching. Driver coaching is the ability to dynamically set distinct and distinct and important driving parameters, and then notify drivers in real time when they approach the thresholds set by you. These parameters assist drivers in correcting their driving behavior as it happens, and immediately reducing the associated risk of poor driving behavior. So what are the benefits of driver coaching? The primary benefit is safety of the driver and the others on the road. Aside from safety, you're limiting your exposure to the cost of accidents from property damage and associated lawsuits. You'll have improved fuel usage with the reduction of unnecessary idling and speeding occurrences. Also, there is the possibility of reducing insurance rates because of the increased safety. With increased safety, reduced liability, and lower operating costs, this module is very beneficial to your fleet. Our driver coaching module consists of two major components, our FSS web-based application and an AcidWorks Ranger 4 or semi-rugged tablet installed in the vehicle and connected to the engine diagnostics port of the vehicle running the FSS mobile application. And there are three driver coaching parameters that you can set. The first one is speeding, idling, and then aggressive driving, which includes harsh braking, harsh acceleration, or excessive swerving. Let's take a look at how easy it is to set up driver coaching. The first step is to understand the two-tier approach to the driver vehicle behavior used by FSS. FSS implements a vehicle type vehicle model for applying app operational thresholds, as different vehicle types will have different thresholds for aggressive driving. For example, a pickup truck will have different harsh acceleration values than a transport truck. You can define the driver coaching parameters for a group of vehicles with a couple clicks of a mouse and keyboard. For example, if your fleet has both tractors and pickups in it, you can set the driver coaching parameters for your tractors to one set of values and your pickups to a different set of values. If required, you can zoom in and change the driver coaching settings for an individual vehicle. Now, I'll show you how to set up the driver coaching parameters. First, you set the thresholds that can trigger email alerts. These are hard values that you define. In this particular instance, if a vehicle is idling for more than 10 minutes, that is considered a high threshold event. If it is idling for more than 30 minutes, it is considered a critical event. We have set speeding to 105 kilometers per hour for eight seconds as a high threshold and 115 kilometers per hour for a critical event. Not to worry, the system is easily configured to use miles per hour for our US customers. The accelerometer events are a little tricky and require some custom adjustments for each vehicle type. Let me explain. Acceleration is the force that pushes you back in the seat when you speed up quickly. Depending on the vehicle and the load, 
This will vary with different vehicle types. For example, a Ford Raptor will, will safely accelerate far faster than a Kenny pulling a fully loaded tractor. Well, at least it better. If not, warning bells had better start going off. Say, like, driver coaching. Deceleration is that force that pulls you towards the steering wheel when you brake hard, and depending on the type of vehicle, you'll have to fine-tune the settings for your fleet. And a couple of things to watch out for when setting the accelerometer parameters. First, the Ranger or semi-rugged tablet must be mounted securely in the vehicle. This is paramount to minimizing and eliminate, even eliminating false triggers. Here we see a properly mounted Ranger. A Ranger mounted loosely will be a source of never-ending grief for you and the driver. Next, watch out for the driver that has a tendency to jerk start a stopped vehicle. This could tr false trigger a deceleration or acceleration event. But then again, this may be a good thing. I've seen drive shafts sheared off by an inexperienced driver who jerks a full load too hard from a stopped position. The lateral G-forces are those side-to-side -side pulls when a vehicle goes around a corner too quickly. Again, a Raptor could take a, a curve or a turn at a much higher rate of speed than a fully loaded tractor and trailer. Once we are satisfied with our thresholds, we can set the driver coaching triggers. And these are pretty straightforward. Speed threshold is when the vehicle gets within five kilometers of the high thresholds and holds it there for 20 seconds continuous. In our example, the high threshold was set to 105 kilometers. So any speed between 100 and 105 for more than 20 seconds will cause the ranger to display a message and send an audible alarm. Of course, these parameters are all available in miles per hour for our U.S. customers. Driver coaching is easy for idling. In our instance, idling was set to 10 minutes and the driver coaching threshold to two minutes. So if the idling time exceeds eight minutes, minutes, then the ranger will again display a message and send an audible alarm. The accelerometer settings are different than speeding and idling. For this configuration, driver coaching counts the number of events and will notify the driver after X number of events. Once these values are all set by you, all you need to do is click the OK button and all these settings are automatically sent out to your fleet. Within minutes, your fleet will have driver coaching enabled and you will begin to see and reap the benefits. One word of warning. Please tell your drivers before enabling driver coaching. And here are the reasons why. When a driver coaching event occurs, the screen of the mobile computer will come to life and display a message similar to this, or this, or one of these for idling. And the following sound will be heard. If the driver is not prepared for it, it could be a little distracting, to say the least. Now, the last item I want to touch on today briefly is the actual notifications that can be sent out to you when a driver does not heed the warnings of driver coaching alerts. FSS can send out emails, and if your mobile phone is set up to receive email SMS messages, we can send out an SMS to you as well. For both speed and island thresholds, we have to set the, the levels of the triggers of both high and critical. Our notification tool can send out emails only on high, only on critical, or in both events, and even send out a daily summary of today's events. In addition to the driver coaching and real-time alerting, all data collected by FSS on, a dri on driver behavior is illustrated on a dashboard for an at-a-glance view. And our driver scorecard, or scorecard report provides a comprehensive summary of all the drivers and their driving behaviors and allows you easily to rank your drivers so you can focus your guidance on the low performers and reward the high performers. That, in a nutshell, is our driver coaching module. And now I'll open up the lines for questions. 
All right. Well, thanks, Stephen. Um, everyone, we are going to open up the floor for some of your questions at this time. And just as a reminder, if you do have any questions, please send them to host using the WebEx chat tool on your screen. And I'll, I'll pass that question over to Stephen, and I'll be happy to give you an answer. All right, Stephen. So um, one of the questions came, uh, I believe, when you were setting up the different configurations for coaching. And one of our uh, attendees had asked, does the office get notified at the same time as the driver? Yes, they do. It's within a, mi a second or two. If the notification comes in, we can send it out immediately. Okay, and, and along those same lines, just to clarify, I believe you had covered this just moments ago. Uh, did you say that notifications are sent to drivers when coaching configuration is adjusted? Yes, so the, the Ranger or the Tableau will pop up with a screen and a sound telling you that you're, you're encroaching the thresholds for driver your driver coaching threshold parameters. Okay. Uh, this question is in relation to uh, excessive vibration. So, do you need to calibrate the accelerometer due to excessive vibration in various trucks? No, you don't. Our systems are built such that they continuously self-calibrate themselves, so it eliminates that vibration. We're, you're, typically, your vibrations are very very small, typically a quarter G or less. When we're talking about accelerometer settings, we're typically talking half a G to three quarters of a G for triggering. Okay, thank you. And um, let's see here, does driver coaching work when you are out of coverage? Yes, it does. The parameters are all set out or sent, sent out to the ranger or to the tablet, and it's all handled locally within the vehicle, so the alerts to the driver grow. The only thing that happens is if their vehicle is out of coverage, the alerts get stored up and then sent back to FSS when they come back into coverage. Okay, thanks again. So uh, great job, Stephen. Thanks for the uh, quick walkthrough walk here of the driver coaching module. Uh, at this time, I would like to thank all of you for taking the time to attend today's presentation. And hopefully you've all been provided with some new information on how to better manage and ensure the safety of your drivers through the driver coaching module. Uh, Stephen, on behalf of Astroworks, just want to thank you again for sharing the demonstration with everyone today. And as you can see on the screen here, Stephen has included his contact information should any of you have any questions or concerns moving forward. And in addition, Stephen and I will stick around for just another minute or so in case any of you do still have questions. Just send them over via the WebEx chat tool in the closing minutes here. Otherwise, have a great day. We look forward to having you with us next time.